Swasti is a project which is very dear to us. Designed for our friends Sanjeev and Sandhya. It sits very silently but enhancing the quality of a traditional neighborhood at Tirumal, Talashedi, North Kerala. Swasti is a 4,000 square feet house which is designed right next to the parents' home and the site had a, uh, multiple levels. So it was up to us to decide how do we organize the entry to the site, the entry to the plot itself while respecting the relationship with the traditional house which is very very nearby. So the first major critical design decision was to plan the site yet enhance the experience of entering into what you call a home. So we decided to design in multiple levels. The first ground level goes to the cars as a parking and then you have a garden walkway into a garden sit-out. And the sit-outs are more than just a sit-out with an extended living possibility and at that level it connects seamlessly to the traditional uh, house nearby uh, with an extended garden. So we kept a nice bench and a nice swing uh, in that sit out and from there you can really enjoy the garden and also enjoy the memories of the parents home. So before you enter the home itself there is so much of quality that you can invite and that you feel like spending the time on this little very very personal space and from there when you enter the house uh, it is courtyard on all four sides uh, it's a south facing residence but uh, we we have an entry from the east so we overlook the puja when you enter and that itself give you a very very positive outlook about the house and then the moment you reach the living dining, which is separated by a puja, you have a semi courtyard on the south, which is covered by a jari so that your south sun doesn't eat you that much. And then you have a little courtyard on the east and a nice courtyard, which is covered by a lot of garden of the west. Talking about the east courtyard, the east courtyard is right next to the kitchen and dining. So this little opening from the kitchen, which makes a small breakfast nook on the East Courtyard, is where uh, I think Sadhu Santhya and the Sun spend a more, lot of time uh, having a cup of a sip of coffee and reading the daily newspapers with a breakfast. And with those rays of East Sun litting the morning uh, routine, I think that is the best part they enjoy quite a bit. And we also have a small screening wall with laterite. Laterite is a local stone available. And that exposed laterite wall with some openings create that much needed privacy from the other house. So East Courtyard is something they cherish quite a bit. And then there is West Courtyard. West Courtyard is more for the evening parties and evening get this. When the friends come, we have this nice little uh, yellow uh, oxide bench where everybody can sit down. And when we went there, uh, as an office, we had a nice get together in the house. Uh, we all of us, 20, 24 people from the office, could actually sit there uh, in, on the steps and on this uh, oxide, uh, you know, bench. And then we had people singing songs and people talking about it. So it becomes a very informal social space uh, within the house. So you have so many options of, you know, going into the South Courtyard with the Jali for, you know, reading a book and you're quite soon coming into this East Courtyard for you have a morning tea or a morning uh, coffee and then going into this West Courtyard for evening parties and also then you can, if you go to the North then it opens up to a, an area where you have vegetable gardens and plantains and everything. So if you want to go and, you know, get engaged in farming and everything, it goes to the North Courtyard. So it's open to all four sides. So that way, Swasti doesn't feel like, you know, you're, you're in a building at all. It is very seamlessly connected to the nature uh, and the quality of light, the quality of air, the quality of whole environment is defined by the way 
this dynamics between the inside and outside work. Another thing about Swasti is that we used a lot of natural palettes. Uh, you know, the J Salma for the living dining. So it's very bright in terms of yellow. It's very vibrant. It's really happy. You never feel a little down there. But then to contrast that a little bit, we have used uh, great texture on the walls. Uh, so it's like great texture and J Salma and then roof tiles, steel roof tiles, roof tiles on the steels and multi, uh, there's two layer tiles, one is a mango pattern on the above and then there's a ceiling tile below so that there is an air gap in between as well so that reduces uh, the heat intake quite a bit and give us a nice real warmth inside. And in the bedrooms we have used cotta stone uh, and it's much brighter, white walls and cotta stones uh, and very simple sleek uh, furniture which are little traditional nuances but very contemporary so it makes a very simple space with it there are only three there in the house so we have made sure there is enough connection between the first floor and the second floor nobody feel you know really disconnected when you go to the first floor so there are two multiple uh, you know skylights in the living room and dining room connects the first floor and the second floor very nicely uh, and all together uh, it's a home it's a place where you feel like a home where you feel where you feel belong to and every time you really visit Swasti it's like you know there is so much of happiness and smiles in everybody's face and the landscape has started growing and so you know you feel good that the house is growing the house is living and it's probably starting to age very very gracefully so that way Swasti is something a project that has given us a lot of happiness and the whole journey of doing the project is also exciting uh, because uh, Sanjeev and Sanjeev being a friends and we travel together picking up things uh, you know finding meaning to every wall finding meaning to every space and uh, it was interesting you know even even the little one had a very interesting brief you know he came to us and said that he had two pages of brief that he wanted something world map on one floor and the animals on another floor he wanted you know, parents' photographs and their grandpa's photographs and cousins' photographs on other floor, other place, wall, you know. So there are so many things which were coming together. So we, we tried to put all his brief together as well and give him a small attic. So he was also a very happy client at the end. Uh, so Dear Residences is always meant to be very, very personal. Uh, we try to be with the client, we try to understand their nuances, their culture, their habits and try to build something which they feel belong to. And what is more important is to us, for us is the context, the place, you know, and the materials that we use, the whole process of building it and how the entire house speaks more than just the object but becomes very soulful and start connecting to you and start imbibing you, your body and soul, uh, so that, uh, you know, uh, the house also live with you from there. Uh, yeah, so, Swasti so is such a project.